the week off of school and I have so much studying to do to catch up on the last few weeks of school because I've been kind of sick since the beginning of the year it's not been great and I've accumulated a lot of late work so I have a week to try and get it as much done as possible basically um, I will show you the planning I made for this week. Um, I have a very tight schedule for this week to put everything like as it will go. So hopefully I can get it all done. For today it is Monday and I've already been doing a couple things this morning but nothing for school. And my plan for today is basically to do almost all of my physics work. I like to do one subject at a time so that is what I'm going to be doing for today. But this week there's also hopefully I'm going to be getting some really important news. Um, so I thought I would put you guys down to explain the other side of this week which is more a health thing. If you haven't seen a couple of videos ago I had to go for an emergency neurologist appointment to figure out a treatment plan. There he decided to put me technically back on the same treatment that I already was for a year and I do not tolerate that treatment but it's like another name brand so he was like maybe you can tolerate that one better um, except my problem is not the side effects of the medication, it is my body not tolerating it. And basically from the day that I started it, I cannot eat anymore. I cannot tolerate food, it makes me horribly sick. Um, I'm not gonna get into detail, so don't worry about that. I sent an email last week being like, help, I can't do anything, I can't eat. And they told me that I go went on vacation. Except he didn't actually put in instructions on what to do if I didn't tolerate the medication. And today he's coming back from vacation. So hopefully we can figure out a plan. So yeah, that is the second half of what is going on. Um, I'm really hoping we can find something because I'm like pretty much on a liquid diet and I can't continue like that for much longer. So that is the plan for the week. Getting my schoolwork done, figuring out a solution for my health. Standing underneath the lights Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has 
just gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up show you what my week looks like and this is pretty much it this was today I have pretty much everything checked off and then I don't know how well you can actually read or not but basically I've just added two to three assignments per day of the week in hopes that I can do throughout the week and if I stay on schedule I will be uh, pretty good and then I have um, another page in my notion where I have my school to do list and because I've done a couple things I can actually update it so let's do that together I am done with my final art assignment which is awesome and then today I did some physics. I did this one and this one. So I am pretty excited and there's things that I don't need to do. I don't need to do everything on this list. go to bed I've already taken off my makeup but I wanted to give a little update basically I got the phone call from the hospital I think this afternoon um, telling me that I have a phone appointment with my neurologist tomorrow so that is very great news and I also got another very cool phone call but I will not be talking about it yet um, it's something that might come up in the future, but I'm very excited. Um, I did pretty well today. I was really productive. I got all the homework that I wanted, got a bunch of other like social media things, and also some things for my small business done. So I'm pretty proud of myself. It was a really long day, which is why it is not even 9pm and I'm going to bed. I also did my last art drawing and it was to do an abstract piece using charcoal so if you can tell the symbol if you know you know but basically uh, that is all for my day it was a very very long day I'm exhausted I did physics all day which is so crazy but I will see you tomorrow <laughs> 
You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think appointment my phone appointment with my neurologist and I didn't start that well like he was an hour late which is just so nice um, and then like it was not what I anticipated okay he's okay with the fact that I don't tolerate that medication but because there's no other treatment option, he just decided that I don't have any cranial hypertension anymore. Even though my symptoms started improving with the treatment. So I just don't understand their way of like thinking. Like it doesn't make any sense to me, but I can't change it so yay like suddenly I don't have the condition anymore because there's no other treatment for me so I don't know and basically he just said that I need to take half of the dosage I have of the medication for another week before I can stop so I'm also not going to be able to eat anything for another week because it's not because I have half of the medication that I'm certainly going to be able to eat. I already know that from past experiences so that's fun. Another week without eating. Like it's nothing. Basically we're going back to trialing like migraine medications which from trying a bunch of them in the past, I don't tolerate most of them anyways, so that's oh, gonna be fun. Plus, it's like playing around with my antidepressant. Like, it's not even, he cannot put me on medication. My psychiatrist has to do it because it has to do with my messing around with my antidepressant, which is very dangerous because I don't tolerate most antidepressant. I tried a bunch of them and most of them make me sick. So I don't know, it's just, I'm at a point where I, I just want to say stop and just, I would rather be in pain, even like 10 out of 10 pain every day for the rest of my life than having to continue to do this because it's so tiring to be sick all the time from all of these medications and now I'm gonna get back to my homeworks because I have nothing else to do
What's it like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight Oh, I'm thinking about him I have got him on my mind, but he doesn't know my name and I'm running out of time I wish he felt the same and I'm acting stupid like every day Don't know what to do or what I should say with all of my homeworks for today it was a struggle I could not bring myself to do these homeworks for the life of me I just was not motivated today it was painful but I did it I finished it also the Sun is setting so there's almost no more light left but I wanted to give that update because I'm very proud of myself I've pushed through it I've done it all so I can now relax, which for me means working on my small business. This is not like, I know this is not like typical relaxing, but it is for me. Hi, it's been a couple of weeks now and I am currently editing this video and I went a little overboard with this week in my life and it is like insanely long so I'm going to be ending this video here and separating the vlog into two videos so the next video up will be the rest of this week going to the hospital to see another one of my neurologists because I have three of them and just the rest of the studying and everything like that. I'm really sorry to end this video like this but I did not realize how much I filmed that week. It was a very very busy week. I did lots of things, a lot of studying, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed please leave a like. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified of whenever I upload next. And don't forget to check out all of my other socials if you want more daily updates. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!